Hello and welcome to Toy Collections. Today we're having a look at the Lego minifigures of the Simpsons Series 2. We bought these on the first day of release here in Australia, the 1st of May. We got a box of 60. We got them for $4.49 each. The shop was kindly enough giving us a 10% discount on the whole purchase. In this review, we'll be looking at each of the 60 minifigures. We'll be looking at how you can find those figures in the bag and we'll be showing you the bump codes. The bump codes are little bumps on the bottom of the packet that identify which characters inside each packet. Our first character we're looking at is Willie. Groundskeeper Willie comes with a plumber's plunger as his accessory. The plunger is all one piece, so much as the handle part is permanently attached to the plunger part. The red plunger is made from soft rubber. We found that the best way to identify Willie through the blind bag was to feel for the handle of the plunger. When doing a blind bag feel, always try to identify something that is unique from the character from the rest of the series. It can normally be an accessory or a body part that distinguishes one character from the rest. For Willie, it's the plunger. Feel that and you've got Willie in the bag. Next in the series is the school teacher, Mrs. Crabapple. She comes with two accessories, a picture of a person called Woodrow, also known as Gordy Howe, as well as a little pin cup. The picture is what you'd call a two by two square tile. There are actually six characters from this series that come with a two by two square tile, so it's not unique for this minifigure. What you need to feel for in the bag is the little pin cup and its handle. Once you've got that, You've got Mrs. Crabapple. Third in line is Dr. Julius Hibbert. Dr. Hibbert comes with the famous image of an x-ray of Homer's not so completely full head. We found that Dr. Hibbert and Homer were the closest characters in the series when it came to a blind bag field test. Both came with the two by two square tile as their only accessory, and both characters have similar head shapes, that being on the long and narrow side compared to the head shapes of most of the other Simpsons characters in this series. Dr. Hibbert does have a little more hair than Homer, so maybe you can feel for that. If not, please check the blind bag bump codes at the end of this video to really tell them apart. Number 4 in Series 2 is Comic Book Guy. He comes with two accessories, yet another square tile and a squishy cup, which he must have bought at Arpoo's Quickie Mart. For a blind bag feel, look for that squishy cup. It has a little pointy straw on the end, which is easy to feel through the bag. For small little pieces like that, it's sometimes best to give the bag a shake, and hopefully the small pieces fall to the bottom of the bag. So start from there. Soon enough, the comic book guy is your guy. Fallout Boys number 5. Of course, that's just Milhouse in a costume, but he's allowed to have a little fun too. He's the first of what we call a short leg figure. Lego usually use these for children characters, as, and as we'll see later, characters who just aren't very tall. The thing to note here is that those short legs don't bend at the hip, and once you fill them through the blind bag, you know you have one of the five minifigures in the series with short legs. But Fallout Boy's unique item here is the can of Buzz Cola. It's small and cylindrical in shape. Find that can and Fallout Boy is your man. Finding himself at six is Professor Fink. His distinguished items are a chemical flask and his long head. The flask is quite small, but its triangular shaped base and thin tip make it easy enough to find the fink when doing a blind bag feel. Again, shake the bag a little to see if the small flask finds its way to the bottom of the bag. Number seven is Wayland Smithers Jr. Now Smithers has got a square tile like some of the other figures, but his distinguishing feature is his head. He has a pretty short head and it's very flat on the top. Most of the heads are quite large in this series, but Smithers' head, well, I guess you could say it's a little bit smaller. If you find that flat head and the square tile, that, my friends, is Waylon Smithers Jr. Rounding out the first half of this series is Patty Bouvier. Both the Bouvier sisters have very large head sculpts in this series. In fact, we found that when doing the blind bag feel, Patty's head shape was similar to Mrs. Crabapple's. But of course, Patty is carrying a handbag, and that is the thing to look for, and it's unique to this character. 
Up for number 9 we have Selma Bouvier. Now, as you can see Selma has again that 2x2 two two square tile. But the difference with Selma between the others is that she has a massive, and I mean massive head. She's got a huge hairstyle on top of that body of hers. So that's the thing to look for. It's very thick in the bag and you'll feel it straight away. You'll think, oh my goodness, this is a large head. What is in here? So find that big head and the square tile and you have got Selma. For number 10, we have Hans Mole. Now, as you can see, Hans has got the short legs, but he's not a child. He's just a short old man. But Hans's unique item here is his two by one driver's license tile. It's quite easy to fill in the bag. It's unique to this character. And once you've found it, you've found Hans. Legs 11 is Martin Prince. As you can see, Martin comes with a very large book. It must go with his very large IQ. In the blind bag field, that large book is the giveaway. You need to know that it's Martin. Another thing to feel for is his hair. On the crown of his head, part of his hair sticks up, and it's easy to feel that bit sticking through the bag. Big book and hair, it must be Martin in there. Twelfth in the series is Homer in his Sunday best. As we mentioned before, Homer has a very similar blind bag feel to Dr. Hibbert. He's got that 2x2 two two square tile, and he's got a long sort of cylindrical shaped head. Of course, Homer doesn't have as much hair as Dr. Hibbert, and you can actually feel that just a couple of strands that Homer has across the top of his head through the bag. Of course, look for the blind bag bump codes at the end of this video to help further distinguish him. Next in the line, we have Marge Simpson, also in her Sunday best. She must be going on a date with Homer. Now, of course, Marge is easy to tell through the blind bag due to her unique high hairstyle. No other figure in this series comes close to its shape. She also comes with a 2 by one tile and some flowers. There are actually four flower petals in the bag which need to be twisted off and separated from each other. But feel for that long head of hair and you'll find Marge. Finding himself number 14 in this series is Bartman, the alter ego of Bart Simpson. Bartman is another of the short leg variety, but the piece to feel for through the bag is his slingshot. Apart from Marge's flower petals, the slingshot is probably the smallest accessory for any of the figures in Series 2. You'll need to really feel for it when doing the blind bag field test, but when you do, you'll be doing the Bartman and if it was 1990. Coming in at number 15 is Lisa Simpson with Snowball 2, the cat. Snowball 2 is Lisa's only accessory in this series. When feeling for Lisa through the bag, what you really want to do is feel for Snowball. You'll feel something that is not Lego body or head shaped. And we found that finding the outline along Snowball's head and back to tail is enough to identify the bag as being Lisa. Lucky last is Maggie Simpson with everyone's favorite pooch, Santa's little help. Maggie is unique in that she has a unibody feels for the bag for that unibody is a giveaway. Santa's little helper's long legs are another feature to feel through the blind bag to help you round out the full set of 16 Simpsons Lego minifigure series 2 for 2015. In the last section of this video we're going to quickly look at the bump codes that uniquely identify each Lego minifig character without having to do a blind bag field test. Across the bottom of the blind bags, you will see little indentations represented by dots. We call these bump codes. Each bump code configuration is unique for each minifigure. Sometimes they are hard to spot as air bubbles can form in the sealed sections of the blind bags, which can look like dots. But most of the time, the bump codes are easy to spot. So let's take a look at the bump codes for Series 2. We've put little pen marks over the dots to help those bump codes stand out in these pictures.
We hope you've enjoyed watching this video, and we hope you enjoy collecting the Lego minifigures, Simpson Series 2. If this video has been helpful in any way, then we're happy about that. Take care and bye-bye.